السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہیار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ایپیسوڈ اف مائی ٹیک ویل ایز وی آل نو دا سیز فائر ریزولوشن وچ گاٹ تھرو آن دی منڈے اٹ واز ویلکم بائی حماس بٹ اسرائیل ڈیڈنٹ ویلکم ڈٹ اور ڈیڈنٹ ایکسیپٹ اٹ ایز دی امیریکن سینگ دیٹ اٹس اسرائیلس کنسنسس ڈرافٹ دیٹ دے ہیو پریزنٹڈ ان United Nations Security Council and President Biden presented on the 31st May last month. But now when Israel, when Hamas and Islamic Jihad has both issued their ceasefire response, a positive response to the mediators Qatar and Egypt, the Israel and America have again backtracked. Or if I put it in that way, or let me say it, that Hamas has called the ceasefire bluff of USA and Israel once again because last month in the May when they accepted the original proposal which was in the end of May presented by President Joe Biden to the world was more or less on the same terms that Biden proposed on 31st of May and which got through on 10th of June. of this month in the United Nations Security Council via 14 to 0 where Russia abstained from voting and Israel didn't welcome it and criticized the ceasefire resolution. The response that Hamas submitted to the negotiator which also has the willingness of Islamic Jihad and it is a joint response of Islamic Jihad and Hamas for the ceasefire talks and It is as follow as the ceasefire proposal which Hamas ceasefire response that they have submitted to the Qatar and Egypt that uh, uh, that proposed certain changes in the original ceasefire plan which is presented by Americans. Now it's a Hamas ceasefire proposal which they presented and it is according to the uh, Lebanese newspaper Al-Akhbar which says that on day one, on the first phase of temporary ceasefire began, <clears throat> they began completely IDF withdrawal from Rafah crossing and Philadelphia corridor and the so-called Net Zareem corridor which cuts the Gaza Strip from east to west to the middle. <clears throat> It is the proposed change that Hamas wants, that they want on the beginning of the first day of uh, the first phase of 42 doll a uh, 42 day long first ceasefire phase there there should be temporary ceasefire and israel the idf israeli soldiers withdraw from rafa crossing from philadelphia crossing and from so called net zareem corridor which cuts the gaza strip in half at its its cut east and west from the central gaza again <coughs> By day 7, Israel withdraw from spe- uh, specified areas completely. They should, they shall, as the Hamas proposal, change proposal says, that they should need to withdraw from the specified area completely till the f- 7th day of the first phase of 42 day long. First phase All of the 7th day, they need to remove completely. And the third proposal that the Hamas suggested, the third amendment, by the end of first phase, all IDF soldiers have to leave Gaza, the all Palestinian authorities, to the Palestinian people, to the PLO or PLA, the Palestinian Authority, if not Hamas, if, the, if not Hamas. On day 42 of first phase, on the last day of first phase, Hamas proposed change says, regarding prisoners exchange, Now, now, by the end of first phase, all IDF soldiers leave Gaza on the 42nd day of first phase, the last day. Hamas wants all IDF soldiers not uh, to be in Gaza. They have to leave the Gaza premises to the, uh, to the Palestinian authority, to the, Pal- the Palestinian territory, to the Palestinian people. The second change regarding the uh, prisoners exchange, Hamas said it would release three Israeli captives. dead or alive in the first phase the captives would be released uh, 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 this uh, the hamas said they would release 33 israeli captives dead or alive 
in the first phase the captives would be released three days apart the hamas uh, proposal that they are saying that we would we are ready to release 33 prisoners 33 captives in the first phase three days apart each person will be released the other thing if israel does not commit to the complete withdrawal from gaza on the day 7th of the first phase hamas will hold captives release it is an important point and it is perhaps where the problem for israel and the us began because what israelis actually want that they want the first phase to complete that they get all their prisoners back mostly get their prisoners back and then they can do whatever they want in second phase because the uh, senior government officials of Israel have told Reuters and a, um, uh, Associate Foreign Press that they want the first phase of this ceasefire to go through but they do not want permanent ceasefire. They do not want permanent hostilities of ceasefire. They want to continue war because they think that they need to finish Hamas militarily and politically completely. They can finish perhaps politically that Hamas could lose control of Gaza Strip, but militarily finishing Hamas is perhaps a long dream or a dream which do not easily come true or do not easily be, be fulfilled because many of Israeli soldiers or Israeli army officials also think that it's impossible to militarily finish, uh, finish Hamas or defeat Hamas in uh, um, in war completely. As some, uh, if Israel does not commit to the complete withdrawal from Gaza to day seven on the first phase, Hamas will hold captive uh, captives of uh, uh, release of captives. They will not release any further Israeli soldiers if Israeli uh, forces did not withdraw from uh, Gaza in the first phase on the seventh day of the 42 day long the first phase hamas rejects any israeli condition or veto on which the palestinian prisoners would be released in exchange for israeli captives it's an important point the first phase uh, uh, the, the first phase shall end with the declaration of restoring sustainable calm which means complete cessation of all military operations. It is another important point that the first phase shall end the 42 day the 42 days first phase shall end with this restoring of sustainable calm, which means complete cessation of all military operations. That complete cessation of all military operations can only took place when Israel withdraws completely from Gaza Strip and there is no soldier left behind in is uh, of, of Israeli soldier left behind in Gaza anywhere in all crossings Hamas also said that Hamas also said that also requires that Russia China and Turkey needed to be add as the guarantors for this ceasefire deal to go through it is a very important point that if america thinks that this ceasefire deal should take place they need to enter russia china and turkey as a guarantor from israeli side they will take the responsibility that israel would fulfill all the obligations that israel will from uh, will withdraw from all uh, Gaza Strip. They will uh, take all soldiers back. Rafa crossing would be open. Rafa crossing and Philadelphia crossing would be given back to the Palestinians and Egyptian authorities. And no military presence of Israeli army in Gaza. And for that, the Hamas amendment proposed in the response that they have submitted to the uh, Egyptians and Qataris mediators that they need China, Russia and Turkey as a guarantors. After that, today, Anthony Blinken was in Qatar. He said that few things are doable, but two things can't be accepted. It simply means that 
they didn't like this proposal or this response which Hamas has submitted. Hamas, I think perhaps they have submitted a very good and very well cal calculated response because all of these things are missing from the American idea or the American ceasefire proposal which Biden presented, which have been voted on in the United Nations Security Council and that is heavily favored Israel, but still Israel have not accepted that proposal. Israel, not even once any Israeli official or even the Israeli Prime Minister or the Israeli envoy in the United Nations didn't ever ask, uh, didn't ever said that this response, uh, this uh, draft have over blessings, over backing. They didn't say these sort of things. They just talk about the complete victory and complete victory in their view is that uh, they need to finish or eradicate Hamas completely, militarily and politically. Politically, maybe Hamas could never govern Gaza again, but militarily, it's highly unlikely that they can beat Hamas uh, by, by the power. It, it is a bit difficult for me. Uh, and Anthony Blinken saying this, that few things are acceptable, but few things are not workable. What does that mean? It means that Isra they do not like the response that Hamas have submitted. And for them, that it's a non-starter. And I think Hamas proposed these changes that uh, for, uh, in the first phase, Israel need to withdraw all of its forces till the first, uh, seventh day of the first phase. I think it is a big point. And adding, adder, uh, adding, uh, adding the China, Russia and Turkey as the guarantor, it's also a crucial thing. Also, that uh, if Israel do not uh, fulfill all the uh, requirements, of this ceasefire deal till the seventh day of the 42 day long first phase they will uh, halt of captive release that is very important point and the other thing it is now the ball is again in united nations uh, united states and israel's court they need to figure out whether they want ceasefire and it is high time that biden needs to do something about Israel because if biden completely stand behind Israel even now, then I think this sea war will not end like this because Israel have escalated uh, hostilities with Lebanon and full-fledged war is very much likely with Lebanon as well. But it will be interesting to see that response that uh, Hamas and Islamic Jihad jointly pr presented to the mediators. What will uh, be the American response? The American response is so far very meager and they are not very happy with the, the response that Hamas or with the uh, amendments that Hamas has proposed to the ceasefire resolution or the ceasefire deal. Uh, for me, it is again, it looks like that uh, America is not fully behind this ceasefire deal. They are playing with the uh, Palestinian people. They are playing with the Palestinians' lives because Palestinian lives do not matter for the Americans or Britishers or any white people. I don't think so. The white establishment, the white leadership didn't care about Palestinian life or Palestinian children. They damn care about that 15,000 plus children have been killed. 12,000 women have been killed. The 37,000 plus people uh, for 124 people have been killed. More than 80 8,000 people have been injured. Nothing left in Gaza. Gaza has become a city of rubble, city of debris, city of destruction, city of dust, city of um, different infectious disease, city of famine, city of shortage of food, city of not uh, getting clean water, city of no medical treatment. So they do not care about that. The important thing is that that this response is Hamas is uh, should be acceptable for Israel if they need their captives alive if they need ceasefire in the region, if they need calm in the world, if they need a sustainable peace to be restored in the region, and if they do not want this war to escalate to other places. But with the Israeli desire and Israeli continuous attacks on Lebanon, on Hezbollah, it means that they just want this war to go on and they are in mood of ethnically cleansing Arabs from the Arab lands. And Again, I would reiterate myself, Hamas perhaps again called the Israeli and American bluff of this, of, of this, on this ceasefire deal because the response from Blinken and uh, the Biden administration is really uh, meager, really meek that he said that few things are doable and few things are not. 
which seems that it is above, uh, beyond them. They cannot pursue Israel and Israel will not going to listen to them because Benjamin Netanyahu do know that if he went for the ceasefire, he is history. Tada bye bye to him. He will not going to be elected as a prime minister of Israel again and he is certainly going to jail in Israel for the financial crimes and for, for the financial disparities that he has committed in his long rule. So it is again the ball is in Israeli and American court. Let's see what they answer. But for me, they will not going to accept these proposed amendment and the deal that Biden and Israel so um, so called has uh, Biden presented Israeli so called deal. It will not going to be hold because Israel is not willing to le- finish this war. Long live Islam. Long live the people of Palestine. From the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free. Allah Hafiz.